Hello there, how are you all doing? My name's Victoria. I'm back with another tarot card reading for you all today. Today's tarot card reading is going to be called Are You On Their Mind? So are you on their mind right now? And we're going to get into your person's thoughts of what they're thinking about you as well. Okay, what I'd like you to do today is choose between three tarot decks. Reading number one will be the Art of Tarot. Reading number two will be the Chakra Wisdom, Wisdom Tarot. Reading number three will be the um, Tattoo Tarot. Okay, before I ask you to choose your pile of cards for today's reading, I'd just like to say a quick thank you to everyone that's subscribing to the channel right now. I really appreciate each and every single one of your support. It really means a great deal. And also to everyone that's booking private tarot card readings with me. Um, thank you so much as well for trusting me with your situations. Okay, so... What I'd like you to do is choose from your intuition. If you have a picture of your person handy as well, around on your phone or your tablet or whatever device you use, uh, that's really good for getting those energies going. I like to take a big deep breath, close your eyes, and then pick your pile for today's Are You On Their Mind reading. And um, let's tune into their thoughts. So I will give you a few quiet moments now to pick your pile of tarot cards for today's reading. Hello there, welcome back to your reading. Those of you who chose reading number one, which was this Art of Tarot deck. First of all, I'm going to get an Oracle card here to try and get gauge the situation and what's going on between you both or what's in their mind in a second. So let's choose the Oracle deck. Just a couple of subject matters, what might be going on in his head or in their head right now. And are you on their mind? While I'm shuffling the deck here today, if any would like any private guidance with me, those links to book are in the description box below. The readings look very much like this one, so they're nice and private for you, you know, so they're nice and private. So that's what people prefer, you know, privacy is paramount for your situations. So yeah, check out the description box below if you'd like any private readings there with me. Please try to stay to the end of your tarot readings because I'm doing the message cards at the end and possibly another oracle deck. Okay, let's have a look at the situation, what your person's thinking. Okay, I did pull out two. So we've got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And we have love yourself first. Your self-respect your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I've pulled those two cards up the deck. I should put them there for you. So those two are the basis of your reading. Engagement. So this love life, this, this connection of yours is starting to climb. Please try to stay to the end of your readings. Because I do get spirit messages that come out during readings as well. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. I'm getting, while I'm shuffling the cards, I'm getting this really big sense of being lonely. And I don't know. I know the engagement card came out. Um, I'm also getting a sense that I'm picking up that this person seems to be lonely. And I'm also picking up that they're hoping for love. So those are the two spirit messages that I've been given already. Ten of Cups to them, the cards haven't even come out yet. But I'm seeing this person's got like this, lo I feel lonely, like a loneliness streak. Seven of Cups. The Five of Swords reversed. We've got enough room for these cards today. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. Okay, there has been some trouble I'm feeling here, some conflict, especially with these the two tens in reverse like this, the cups and the pentacles. Um, I'm not sure if you two are still together or whether there's some kind of separation between you both. Um, this person seems very confused. 
I feel like they're asking for something from you or they want something from you. Um, I feel like there's been trouble in your connection, okay? Um, even though we have these oracle cards here, I'm feeling like the, when I saw the engagement card, it's like they wish this or they want this to happen. Perhaps it's not been happening or it's not it's not happened. Some of you, you may not be in communication, okay, or very little. These two tens are reversed, you see, and they're quite concerning me. The seven of cups, somebody's not committing to the connection like they should be. I'm almost getting the impression this person um, wants more from you or is asking for a bit more from you. So, yeah, you are on their mind greatly is what I'm feeling. Um, there may have been some kind of trouble in your connection with the five of swords in reverse like that. It's like when there's, there's been fighting or there's been arguments or discord and this person's after peace between you both. That's what I'm feeling. Knight of Cups, I knew it. Queen of Wands, I knew it. Right, and what I'm going to explain, one second, I feel like there's been some discord between you both, yeah? This person wants, uh, um, what I'm feeling really strongly for some of you, remember these are general tarot card readings, is that this person is asking for another chance or a new start. Um, now, I need to explain. Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands, Nine of Swords reversed, okay? And the Fool, and the Nine of Swords is reversed is better in reverse. It's about... They've been very tormented by your connection or what's happened between you. Now, there's a Knight of Cups here, which is proper Prince Charming. Then we have this Queen of Wands energy, which I feel is probably you. Um, Prince Charming there is giving this gift of love. You see her, this Queen of Wands got her back turned. Okay. Um, what I'm feeling is you may have rejected them. Or they feel like it's wasted if they give you this. It's like they feel like you don't want them. You might not want it anymore. Um, there may have been a bit of trouble here where they've not given you what you've wanted in the past. And possibly you have turned your back on them. It's almost, I'm feeling like they feel lonely now because you have done that. Um, they're after a new beginning, new start. They'd like another chance is what I'm feeling. If that makes sense to you so yeah that's what i'm seeing with this reading it's like they're after another chance from you now you're in charge of this at the minute because there's a queen here next to a knight the queen out numbers a knight yeah so you seem to be in charge of this connection it's like up to you what, what you want to do with this person um they'll do whatever you ask this is what i'm feeling I feel like they will do what you say. They'll do what you ask if you want another chance and you're telling them to, to hop on one foot and spin around or something like that. They probably do that. It's almost like they want to make it up to you and they're like, this. there seems to be, I'm getting the feeling of apologies or, or making it up to you. If they're not the type to apologise, some people aren't. They find the word, you know, sorry would burn on them before they say it's sorry. Uh, but they, I think they are. If there's apologies to be needed. So, yeah, I'm feeling like they've realised that they have to do something to keep you. I mean, it's the Queen of Wands. I mean, she's lusty. She's brilliant, you know. She's fiery. She's lusty. She's confident. Um, but this is why I'm feeling that you, some of you may have turned your back on this little Knight of Cups here. And I feel like puppy dog eyes, like, begging you to take them back or begging for another chance or, you know, please contact me. Don't block me. I'm getting back to the images that I'm getting. Um, yeah, let's have a look at these oracles. So even though we've got this engagement card here, I'm feeling more than the engagement bit is that bit there was more. Um, your love life is ascending to a higher level. I feel like they, they, they realise that they will commit to you. They will reinvest in your connection your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive which means this is what i'm saying these cards could be for you it's like you may have turned your back so you have this self-respect and you've put up a boundary and they've gone oh my god where have they gone and now they're chasing you rather than you chasing them those are the energies i'm getting yes it's like you could say to them you know how high do you want me to jump, you know? How high do you, how, how high are you going to jump for me? So, yes, yeah, there's this feeling that they want to make it up. 
with you here they want to make it up to you make it up to you take a chance they're asking for another chance is what i'm feeling okay let's have a look what this soul connections card dreams share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality maybe that's what they've been doing sort of dreaming of you here you know, you may have appeared to them in a dream or you're on, they're definitely, you know, you're definitely on their mind. It's like you are, you know, the situation is bothering them and stressing them out. Definitely with that nine of swords reverse there. Let's do some message cards. This deck's called In the Shadows, so it's a little bit darker. And then we'll pull some The Hidden Truth Oracle out. One flip over them. Yep, I understand you better now. You are, so you're so easy to see through. Remember with the message cards, take what resonates because not all the messages are going to be for everyone, obviously. What did you want from me? Okay. And they also can be for you as well as them. Whoa. I left you before you could leave me. Interesting. I don't react when people mention you. I love you. That was the last one I pulled out there. So they still have feelings for you, I'm feeling. Okay, lovelies, that's the reading I've seen for those of you who chose reading number one today. If you think this wasn't your reading today or it didn't resonate, choose another um, deck or you can look on the big long love playlist I have there um, on the channel. So some of the titles, they're all timeless for when you need them and when you um find them basically thank you so much for listening it's been a pleasure if you're not a subscriber yet please think of doing so and help my little channel grow here on youtube any private readings contact me on the email address in the description box below and i'll arrange one for you thank you so much take care bye bye till next time bye bye hello there welcome back to those you that chose reading number two today for are you on their mind? Let's have a look. Shuffle these cards. I'll just shuffle these cards and then we'll choose an oracle card for the subject of the possible subject of your reading. So we'll get these ready while I'm shuffling. If any of you'd like any private readings with me, those links to book are in the description box below. The readings look like this one, so they're nice and private and discreet. You can email me there as well arrange your reading i'll do that for you check out the services and price list as well if you'd like any private readings with me okay let's get an oracle card to see the basis possibly of the situation between you both We've got wedding. This situation involves marriage. These two are getting married here. Let's have a look. Tarot cards want to say. We have the nine of cups. The five of swords in reverse. The Knight of Cups. These two have been out in another pile. Seven of Coins. The High Priestess in Reverse. I don't know if you can see these cards actually. It's a bit big. The High Priestess reversed. The Three of Coins. Justice. 
the six of cups in reverse okay um who's in fantasy land right now okay um i think a person when they met you thought wow I think they thought that all their wishes, their dreams and everything had come true. I think they thought that they hit the jackpot with you. Um, they may have been dreaming like a little bit of a fantasy land. It's like maybe it took off really quickly or things were really good at the beginning. It's like there was like perfection at the beginning. Um, yeah, Nine of Cups and the Knight of Cups here. So there's proper Prince Charming vibe going on here. They probably promised you even marriage. No, serious, committed relationship here. I feel like their intention was serious, definitely. Um, this Five of Swords in reverse worries me, though. So, um, with the Five of Swords is reverse, often the Five of Swords comes about when there's been trouble and now there's peace. Okay? Um, so, it's like they'll do anything for you to make this work. Things may have been delayed in your connection for some reason. There may have been like a delay of some kind because the seven of coins is often when someone has to really work on a connection. So I'm feeling like possibly your connection took off really quickly with this nine of cups. OK, and then something's happened between then and now. It's like. Perhaps you both got carried away in the fantasy of it and the romance of it and then you get things creeping in um uh, from life that come in to like disturb the momentum you know disturb the vibe as i call it so there could be that you had to work a little bit harder what i'm feeling is there was a little bit of fantasy land when you met so it's like whoa i'm gonna marry this person it's love at first sight but then real life sort of takes over perhaps you met during covid or something like that where you were at home and um not much in, you know social interaction with other people possibly that's for some of you that's the vibe i'm getting it's like you've been closed off so you met and it's like fantasy and then the reality hits so possibly that you've had to now work on this connection to get it going um sometimes judgments have been off here as well high priestess in reverse with the three of coins um you may they may have been misunderstood messages or misunderstood um i think there may have been smallest misunderstandings that may have led to something like dramatic that's what i'm feeling at times so, yeah, I think you're very much on this person's mind, but I'm feeling like it's almost like, um, yeah, it's good and they are serious, but things have to be worked on. The I'm almost what I'm seeing is oh, funny enough. I'm seeing a shirt that's creased and I'm seeing an iron. So it's like you're ironing out the creases within the connection. It's like these little things have to be sorted. I feel like. Um, you can't live in the fantasy in the bubble anymore. It's like other things have got involved. People may have got involved. It doesn't mean this person thinks any less of you because the Knight of Cups is there and the Nine of Cups is here. So they're definitely invested, interested in your connection. But it's like all the bits have to now fit like a jigsaw to make, you know, beautiful picture. That's what I'm feeling here. I think the ultimate goal is to work on the connection for um, something that's long lasting. So it's like your person might want to be cautious or might want to, you know, build it brick by brick by brick. Or maybe that's what you want. That's what I'm feeling. So there's work to be done, but you, you will definitely are on their mind. They want to work on things with you um, for sure. The justice card is out there as well. So this card maybe they want to tell you when it's too you know tell you that they might want to um work on things or you know make things i'm thinking the word i'm going to come out with the word very real you know it's not fantasy anymore they want more of a real connection like um you know possibly eating together or you know if you met online possibly they want to make it real this is what i'm feeling like they want to bring the fantasy into reality. But I'm feeling like 
you know they might be thinking here with that six of cups in reverse are they being naive in that it's like are there other expectations naive do you want the same as them um they're in they're sure of their romantic intentions with you but do you want the same as them you know are you thinking long term like them they are with that wedding card and nine of cups like your dream come true a breath of fresh air but you know are you thinking on their level? Are you thinking like them? Okay. We have intense. The intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and lows. I said, didn't I? I said, that I, feel, I felt like the beginning was really intense. And then you've got these highs and lows. So this is a proper connection that could be built on you know whether it's you work through your highs and lows together because you can because you'll understand each other and it's life unfortunately where things get you know things get in the way and these message cards for you please take what resonates with the message cards because not all the messages are going to be absolutely for everyone and they could be for you as well your body language says so much oh that could be for some of you who don't want to yes it's too late i'm waiting for an apology could be could be I wish I could share my good news with you. Oops. We will be together again. Just being near you is intoxicating. So we have a little bit of light and shade there in the reading. Remember, these are general tarot card readings. So um, I'm picking up on quite a lot of energy right now, but the gist, the, the, core of the reading is that this person wants to work on your connection they don't sort of they want to make it sort of more real is what i'm feeling okay lovelies thank you so much for listening today hope you enjoyed the reading if you liked that reading you know give a thumbs up drop the comment there in the comment section i do read them uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already help this little channel grow for me i'd really appreciate your support as well um yeah thank you so much i'll be back really really soon with another video and bye bye for now take care bye bye hello to you all welcome back to those of you that chose reading three which was the tattoo tarot okay reverse the cards ready before i shuffle them for your reading first of all we'll get an oracle card from the romance angels deck to see the gist of the situation these of course could be your feelings as well with oracle cards they can be vice versa okay and then we'll do your tarot's very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now mm, very soon okay so we've already reversed the deck ready and now i'll shuffle to get your tarot cards for your reading while i'm shuffling the tarot deck today if any of you'd like any private tarot card readings with me the links to book are in the description box below my email address is there as well so i can arrange a reading for you or you can just make a payment through paypal and then give me the question you'd like me to read for the readings look very much like this one for a once come out good start um so they're all private and you can watch them at your own discretion Good start there. Oh, they're flying out. The Queen of Swords. Ooh, the Queen of Swords. Are you feisty? Queen of Swords energy is often very, very feisty energy. Truth. Three of Wands. Ace of Swords. Is this a new connection that you've got with this person? Or newish? Wow. Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles, 
Ten of Pentacles reversed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Three of Swords. Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands. All right. There may be another person involved in this connection. We have two Queens. Um, they think of one much more highly than the other. I can tell you that now. This Queen of Swords is on top of the connection, yeah? I'm wondering if... Is it new with you? I'm feeling like they've left an ex behind. Queen of Coins, Ten of Coins. This could be someone they have children with, possibly. Okay. Um, there may be war, warring, rowing about that. There may be an ex involved in your connection. Okay. Um, and I'll, I've got a specific spirit message just came out then. I had to stop. Sorry, I nearly said it, but I want to plant it in my head first. There's heartbreak here. They've been heartbreak with this energy. Um, this one, this person here may be causing a few problems. Um, they may not, their communication is rubbish. Or they might not be answering to messages. I'm feeling really strongly there could be children involved here with, for some of you. It's like the communication to try and see their child is possibly annoying um, and it's causing them stress. Okay, let's move on. I'm feeling like um, this person is causing a lot of problems a lot of drama um believe me if you're insecure about this person for those of you who have just clicked on this reading and gone oh my god which i think has just happened i feel like this is a specific reading here i'm feeling okay i'm feeling that if you're insecure about this person their ex don't worry there's nothing to be worried about because they don't like them They've caused them some heartbreak here, definitely. And I feel like they don't really want to communicate with them. They're doing it because they have to. Okay. Now, four of wands, 11, 11 card can be a card of marriage. This is about being very happy with you. Okay. The three of wands here, you support them, don't you? I'm feeling like you are supportive. I said she was feisty, didn't I? I said they know that you've got their back, basically. So, yeah, they're very happy. Three of Wands is telling me they want to expand on your connection. Definitely. They're happy with you. Um, I almost feel like you want to cut her head off. But, you know, um, she's on top as well. They came out this way. So I'm feeling like they think of you so much higher than this person here that's broken their heart. Who causes them problems with communication. Um, I'm feeling that this person here may have communicated in a malicious way for some of you as well. They've caused a bit of trouble. Is what I'm feeling. Um, they're annoying. Um, so if you've got any insecurities about any exes hanging around, don't because this person wants a new start with you. I've got an ace of swords here as well. The ace of swords can be cutting through the, you know, truth. You want another truth, clarity. Um, also, believe it or not, and her coming out after that, the ace of swords can also be a card of conflict because it is a sword energy. Yeah, it looks like you're ready to fight. <laughs> you're ready to fight for this person. OK, this reading's a little bit vice versa today because we do have the two queens. So I feel like you've got their back. They know it. Uh, they think of you as family. So they could be marriage on the cards here as well. OK, but you they the Oracle card talks about clarity and clearly deciding what you want. They want your support. OK, they feel I feel like they're in a battle. And I feel like you're in one as well. Um, the Three of Wands is telling me they want you to jump on board with them. They're waiting here for serious stuff to happen between you two and for the right opportunity. They may travel around you as well, but you're part of a team now. It's like they're seeing you as their other half or part of a team. Um, I think they sort of need you. And yes, you are on their mind very much so. Looks like we have an annoying ex. So if you've got any insecurities about them having feelings for this ex, I can tell you now they do not. Um, they're annoying and they're frustrating. That one and that one is telling me they could have been married to this person or they're with them a long time. They have some serious connection there. An annoying ex I'm seeing here. Very much so. But yeah, they they want your support. They want you to jump on board. They need your help with this person. They, they need to, to know that you're there with them because this person is a very, very annoying person. 
you know could be nasty messages here as well with that eight of wands reversed the communication is either malicious or non-existent um we've got an annoying ex here in the spread they need to know that how much you support them how much you mean to them you know the communication is the key for you as well but they want truth you know they need to know how you feel they need to know that you're there for them they need your support your help that kind of energy respect respect your relationships yeah, I think that's what they're after. Definitely your respect, your loving support. Perhaps they need to know. There's a lot of swords energy at the top. So they need clarity. They need the truth. They need to know how you're feeling about the situation. If you're stressed out about it. If you're, in, you know, insecure. If you've got any worries about the situation. Because it looks like there's something going on. This is a specific reading for someone for sure. These are the message cards. Not all of them are going to resonate with you. I understand you better now. I don't need your approval. This could be for you as well as them. The messages, okay? I hope you're happy for me. <laughs> okay. And we'll get the hidden truth oracle. So yes, they need to know how you feel and that you are in their mind because you support them when times get hard. So they are focused on you and they're not focused on this one. This one broke their heart and frustrates and annoys them. Um, I want to tell you how I feel. So it's all about clarity, yeah? I remember every detail of that day. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I have another card sticking out. I read three for the other group, but one card is sticking out here. I am becoming a better person. So I'm going to take that one too. I know there's four for this one, but the card was like sticking out the deck. I thought I need to pull that one out as well. Okay, those are the message cards. Take what resonates with the message cards. The messages, the cards could be for them or you, of course. Okay, thank you so much for listening to me today. It's been a pleasure. Um, yeah, thanks so much. Uh, check out the Big Long Love playlist I have on my channel. All the videos are relevant to when you click on them. Uh, look at the titles, look at the thumbnail and then make your selection there. There's different titles. They're all timeless. So they're there when you need them. Thank you so much for listening to me today. It's been a great pleasure to read for you all. And if you're not subscribed yet, please think of doing so. Help my little channel grow here on YouTube. I'll be back really, really soon with another video. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell if you do subscribe. Then you'll be notified when I upload. And then you just have a look. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, take care. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.